What's up guys, Cinestalker here in front of a video in this video right here, just a big old stack of some movie reviews. I have a nice stack of some Blu-ray DVD 4K awesomeness goodness I'm going to talk to you about. So let's get ready for that right now. Right. First up here from Paramount Pictures, this movie comes out uh, July 9th. So all these actually come out July 9th, so look out for that. Some already came out, but most of these will be coming out in a few days from now. But first up here is the remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, of Pet Cemetery right here. In the 4K Blu-ray special. You should get both discs in this thing. HDR looks awesome on 4K. I'll tell you that. It looks really, really good. Really good quality. And this movie right here, I didn't see it in the theaters when it came out. So I wasn't really sure what to expect from it. I didn't have, really have high expectations I'm not really a big fan of remakes, and I was like thinking this one, I love this one since so I was a kid, the original one. I don't know how they're going to do this one. So I was kind of going there with just an open mind to see how it is and just kind of go with the flow of it and see if I liked it or not. And I actually did really enjoy this movie. I thought it was actually was pretty well made, pretty well done, and its own interpretation of the original, but its own version of it right there. I actually heard this was more true to the book than the other one was. I don't know if that's true or not, but I heard a rumor like that. That's what it was. I don't know if that's the case or not, but I thought it was really well done. A little twist of the story and that kind of thing right there. But yeah, some kind of creepy moments, some good you know music in this thing, and then I goof up the old one. So yeah, I thought this was pretty good. Not not as good as the old one, of course. The old one was was classic, but this one right here, I thought did a real you know pretty damn good damn job. Way better than I thought was this one right here. You pretty much know the stories like if you you know bury something dead in like this sacred Indian grounds. The, the dead will come up, either animal or human, and they don't come back at the same way as they came, as they went in. They, they're a little bit off. So sometimes, as they say, dead is better. Nice close-up look at it right here. Nice, cool slip case up here. It says you get all the formats. You get 4K, Blu-ray, and digital code if you want that too. And you get some special features of this thing. You get an all-new alternate ending, which is kind of cool. It's 11 and in extended scenes. A little documentary and like all kinds of cool other bonus content in this movie. Next up here from Unearth Films slash MVD Entertainment is this one right here. The Dark Side of the Moon. I had this originally on a videotape. And it was really cool that this is actually out on Blu-ray. It looks fantastic in Blu-ray. Really cool. Uh, I think it looks like a 1990 science fiction movie. Not much of a budget. But, you know, pretty you know okay budget. But this one was a pretty cool story right here. These... Uh, Astronauts of the years 2022 and in the future, <laughs> that kind of thing. They're in space, looking around, trying to get you know some samples of different things and organisms up there. And they go to the, they go past the dark side of the moon and encounter some like weird stuff going on. And all this stuff goes on, this weird, like, like uh, sort of like this demonic type, this weird entity gets on board of their spaceship and it starts uh, killing people. They're not sure what's going on. They have to try to figure out what is going on. And then all this stuff ties in with like the Bermuda Triangle and certain geographic, you know, astrological things in the universe kind of ties in with this right here in the dark side of the moon. Pretty damn really cool uh, flick right here. Looks, you know, nice slip cover. You get some pretty good bonus features, this thing right here. Nice little commentary track, interview with some of the actors and that kind of thing. So this looks really great on Blu-ray. Really good 4K restoration transfer. This thing looks really awesome. Really cool, weird sci-fi flick is this one, The Dark Side of the Moon. All right next up here from Arrow Video MVD Entertainment is this one, The Chill Factor. Check out that rad cover. Look at how cool that looks. But The Chill Factor, I've never seen this one before. I guess it was only in like the VHS world was this way back in the day. Hard to find. So when I got this to check out, it was like a really cool movie. Um, you know, it takes place as these uh, four, these group of these young couples during this trip. One of them challenges into like a race on the on the snowmobile, and the guy crashes. And they have to like uh, wait, they're wake way out there. So they go to, like this weird like, little summer camp cabin out there in the middle of, like the woods, and they go inside there and they see all these weird like artifacts, these like weird things. There's like a Ouija board, and so they go play with the Ouija board. And when they play with the Ouija board. Bad things happen. So don't, don't mess with the Ouija board because, you know, bad things happen. You might summon up spirits and demons. They might want to kill you. That's kind of what happens in this thing right here. So it's like pretty much the winter, like the Winter Olympics meets the exorcist in this thing. Uh, some of the music's kind of weird at times, but I thought it was pretty fun. Pretty kind of a weird, like, you know, low-budget movie is this. Like kind of weird B-horror flicks, kind of obscure ones. 
definitely get this one. That chill factor, pretty dang cool, weird horror flick with like, you know, demons and snowmobiles, pretty much like weird stuff that happens. It's pretty cool. All right, also from Arrow Video is this one, FM. I've never seen this one before, but I heard of it. I've never seen it on videotape, like in shells back in the day. But this one right here takes place as like, pretty much like a, like late 70s radio stations and that kind of thing. So it's like, uh, it was a really popular station back in the day, like this in this movie. Yeah, it's like a weird kind of comedy. Um, it starts like having some troubles and stuff. This uh, big company wants to like out, out, out do it and change up the format. They don't want that. So they go and have like a rock and good time to kind of like sort of like raise monies and like bring attention to the radio station, that kind of thing to you know, just have a crazy wild time while they can before like the big wigs change everything also here from arrow videos this one called the loveless this one right here has like the debut of uh, william defoe back in like 81 and touched up also by Catherine bigelow and uh, Ma uh monty montgomery two directors and writers of this thing did this and it's pretty much like the, like the late you know the 50s you know the biker gang kind of stuff that kind of thing and so like he goes like this little town him and, like this biker king go on route and then they just uh, collide it's like a big old like you know you know biker gang kind of stuff going on in this deal in Loveless, sort of like a, like, a, like a drama kind of a thing, I would say, is this. Pretty well made, pretty cool movie, never seen before, but definitely a really interesting you know, drama type flick is this, uh, is the Loveless. Oh man, I'm getting a little bit thirsty right now. Let's go for a little um, adult beverage. Let's go for an adult beverage. Huh? Let's, let's go, go this way, go that way. Adult beverage, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm busting out the good old classic Bud Light Spuds McKenzie stein glass kind of a deal to put my beer in there this is definitely original from the 80s i'm just doing a classic old school budweiser don't be hating me i know it's just basic budweiser you get hazy ipas but we had this since fourth of july i'm just like yeah it goes down smooth you know it's a quick thing but i'm just gonna pour that in there i think it'll be cooler in this glass see anything in this glass with this little dog right there will make it cooler and i just got a whole crap load of foam look at all this foam i did look at that look at that horrible pour right there Check it out, it's all this much beer, that much foam. Oh my God. Will this foam ever go away? And it's Budweiser foam too, uh, but anyway. That's a big head, look at that big head, huh? We have a big old stack of some stuff from Umbrella Entertainment. And these movies right here, they're from Australia. But they're all region free, so you can play them on your player, so don't get worried about, they see like little you know, the region codes on there, they're all, you can play them and stuff like that. So I'm sorry, but this one, but this black metal band, this one, the Lord of Chaos, with this real band, based on a true story, black metal band, a Norwegian band called Mayhem. And they were famous for like burning down these churches and then they killed some people later on. It was just really messed up stuff. So I was definitely curious about checking this movie out right here. And this one right here, um, it's, it's, it's kind of weird because it's supposed to be like a, a Nordic uh, movie, but they all talk english and stuff so it's kind of odd and it's kind of like you know kind of you know badly acted at times but the gore in this thing is really good that really amazing effects in this thing pretty much i think all the money went to the effects the really good effects like really realistic looking messed up effects some messed up content in this thing so yeah i mean it's an interesting watch you know the house that jack built uh sorry uh, matt dylan and this is a really interesting kind of arty serial killer movie is this Pretty much takes place of him, and it kind of shows him of like him uh, killing people, like different chapters of his life in a sense, different times of his life, and it's kind of weird, artsy, uh, you know, kind of an arty made movie. Is this? It's not like your typical serial killer type thing. It's a different way about it. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Really good movie. Really fantastic. Watches this. And next year on Blu-ray, you got to have a double feature. Brian Treacher Smith. He's a great director. He did BMX Bandits, Stunt Rock. I love his stuff. And these ones right here, I always wanted to check out. Never seen it under these before until now, which is these cool ones called uh, Day of the Panther and Strike of the Panther. Really cool action double feature set is this. Really awesome. Watch it. We watched it a couple times. Just over the top, cool stuff like Ninja Stars to the face and like guns, just battles, this crazy crap is this. And here's like, here's the back of it up here. Really good stuff. And all done a nice 4K restoration is this. Really cool stuff. You like ninja martial arts flicks and action flicks definitely get this one it looks fantastic it's a fun one to do fun one to drink some beers too as i'll do right here drink some beers like this watch that and you have a good time mm -hmm. big old stack of stuff from mill creek entertainment let's go through it right now two really rad 
and these Sadar's flicks. They both, they both these come out this upcoming Tuesday on the 9th. Just fun, great, you know, just action flicks right here. You know, pretty much the stories of like all these uh, ones are kind of all the same because like if these babes with guns, and they fight bad guys, and they have ninjas. It's just, but it's just, it's just so fun. They're just great, fun flicks. This one I've never seen before. Really cool stuff. I mean, if you like hard tickets to Hawaii and all that kind of stuff, you'll definitely love these. Just some great, you know, action B movie gold. Next up here, you get this rad steel book of Mothra. Mothra on Blu ray. Check that out. Let's take this little slip off. Whoop. Open up the inside. You can check it out a little bit better detail. You get the little inside with some cover art up in there and that kind of thing. Here's the back of it up here. Look at that. That looks so sick. It's so cool that Mothra. Is now on Blu ray. It was only on DVD and that kind of thing. And Mill Creek did an awesome job putting this on Blu ray. This collectible steel book. Really cool one because my buddy Cool Dude or Sean C. Phillips is in this. And this one is right here. This Shark Bait. This is the six movie killer shark collection. And he's the one up here called Ghost Shark. He's in that one. The first one they show in this thing. He's in that. It's a really good role made years back. But it's cool. He's in this set right here. So definitely go get this. Support my man Sean C. Phillips. Blu ray right up here. About the Ted Bundy, the, the Stranger Beside Me. Really nice, uh, you know, Ted Bundy movie. Really good uh, cast. Got Barbara Hershey up in this thing and Billy Campbell. Um, just a nice, uh, you know, pretty cool uh, movie about, you know, Ted Bundy killings and that kind of thing and all the messed up stuff he did and that kind of thing. So it's a good, just a cool watch right here. Last but not least in the Mill Creek line is this one up here Forever Night, the complete series up here. Um, like this vampires and. They go and it's like kind of like takes place like, you know, like, uh, you know, the, the millennium and that kind of thing, you know. I do remember this thing. I think this was on like UPN back in the day. I didn't remember much of it. I remember seeing this like on the commercials and stuff. And then when I got this to check out for reviews, I was like, okay, pretty cool. Watch some of it and pretty uh, pretty cool little show right here. Well, that was a lot of stuff to talk about right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope I didn't bore you guys with those reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed that right there. Really cool stuff. So all this stuff is out now or it comes out on the 9th of july so links down below for those companies where you can buy those movies at and more what they put out and until then make sure to hit that notification ring button so you see my videos always come out in rude random times like my stuff make sure to follow me on facebook instagram and twitter for all other kinds of things i'm up to and that kind of deal right there until then i'll catch you later i gotta finish this up spuds mckenzie do you guys remember spuds mckenzie if you guys do leave a comment below and i'll catch you guys later on the next one i'll see you then until then time for me to drink this bad boy up i'll see you